Good morning. So as you can see, I now have more food in my house other than cereal. So, so some would say that that's a glow up. Can I just tell you that shaved Parmesan cheese just hits different? It's so good. I just wanted to put a quick PSA out there for those of you who keep telling me that you see orbs in my video in my new house. Please don't. <laughs> don't tell me that. I don't want to know. I want to stay blissfully ignorant if my house is haunted or not. I do not want to know if there is an apparition. And someone provided a timestamp of when the instance occurred and I was like, oh my god, do I look at this? Do I not? I was debating back and forth for quite a while when I decided I should just look. And it was a chetty hair. Floating in the breeze. Glistening in the sun. Y'all scare me for nothing. I will say that that's my biggest fear about like doing the whole YouTube thing. It's not getting stalked. It's not getting canceled. It's looking back on the footage and then seeing something scary in the background that I didn't realize was there the entire time. Cause that would not be fun at all. I'm just saying. Douglas, are you sitting on the couch? Are you sitting on the couch? I ended up putting crime scene tape. Oh, bless you. I ended up putting crime scene tape uh, where my couch is supposed to go so I could kind of get an idea if it would fit, what it would look like. Now all I have to do is wait five months for it to be delivered. I did not end up ordering that green couch I showed you guys, but I did order a green couch by this company. I don't know if they're good or not yet, but they send you free swatches. So if you want free swatches, like you don't even have to put in payment information. And like when I first did it, I was just like, I want little bits of fabric. And they send you like 10 little bits of fabric. So that's very exciting. And then I ended up liking this material. It's the Mod Velvet. And I rubbed it on Doug. I rubbed it on the cat. And then everything just kind of like slides off of it. So I thought it was very, pet friendly. If you guys saw on my TikTok, Douglas is already all over the furniture. Excuse me, sir. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. So then of course Chetty is. So there's no controlling these animals. So I'm just going to have to work with it. So yeah. That's why I hate short sleeve shirts. It's just never, never a good time. Like my chub always like pushes up the sleeve. So it's like exposed and it's flapping in the breeze. <sighs> I'm like a bird, I got wings, but like I can't fly or do anything like that because I'm like missing the hollow bones. And I'm too large to fly. No one knows what I'm talking about, let's go. I have to go to my mother's house today, my mother, because I don't have any laundry. I had a washer and dryer delivered, but however, both of them do not work and they're new, they're brand new. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I bought a new washer and they're gonna like check on the dryer and see if they can't fix that. I am surrounded by animals right now. Chetty. Oh my goodness. Okay, friends, let's gather the laundry. I wish you guys helped like the birds in Cinderella, but all you do is hinder. <laughs> it's like a million degrees outside today. I am excited to see my mother. I haven't seen her in like a week. Hmm. Does anyone know what I did with my keys? <laughs> I just had them. Here's my spare key. What the hell? Well, now I'm down to one set of keys. These are supposed to be the emergency keys. Oh, I see them. They're in this cranny. Ha ha! I almost just got on the highway with an eighth of a tank of gas. So that would have been really bad. And not another gas station around for a long time. There is a biker gang of ladies here. They look like absolute badasses. Um, I'm trying to read the back of their vest, but I can't really make it out. Should we form a biker gang? <laughs> okay, so we made it safe and sound to my mother's house, um, but barely. 
because some rando in a lifted truck with a million bumper stickers that tell you every single opinion he has in his head decided it'd be a good idea to try to run me off the road. And that's why we can't be in a biker gang because people drive like douche canoes. But you know who never drives like a canoe? Today's sponsor, which is Green Chef. I wonder how they're gonna feel about that transition. <laughs> You guys know them, we love them. They have been an OG sponsor on this channel. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. They cater to a wide variety of meal plans, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, all of that jazz. My pantry contains the absolute just bare minimum, bare necessities right now. And I can't tell you how awesome it was to get my first Green Chef box delivered to the new house. Contact free delivery, by the way. You know, just delivered on my doorstep, nice and tidy. Didn't have to see a single human being which is what I prefer. <laughs> but all of the ingredients are pre-portioned, the correct amount in the box, so you don't have to worry about if you have an ingredient or not. The recipe cards have pictures with step-by-step -step instructions, super easy to follow. And I have honestly not come across a Green Chef meal that I have not liked. It's kind of annoying at this point. Like the last meal I ate was like pork chops and it had like this like fennel seasoning on it. And I was like, this might be the one, the one that I don't like. But of course I liked it. These meals are chef curated. People who know what they're doing, like professionals putting these meals together. So they're just so good. But if you guys are interested in trying them out, Green Chef gave me a code for you guys to use to get some money off. You can head on over to greenchef.us slash 90Beatrice and use code 90Beatrice to get $90 off plus free shipping on your first box. Again, that's greenchef.us slash 90Beatrice and use code 90Beatrice to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Link will be in the description. Thank you so much, Green Chef, for continuing to support this channel. Hello, mother. I'm home. Hello. Red is you look at it. Yellow. Are you smelling Douglas? Are you going to beat Douglas up? <laughs> Don't beat Douglas up. Are you going to... My sister wants to cut my hair like Dua Lipa, so I'm just going to let her. Um, I'm probably going to end up looking like Lord Farquaad prepare yourself for that. But we're gonna let Jesus take the wheel. She of course does not want to be in the videos like everyone else in my life, so. Um. Hold on, your face is in it. Ow, mother <laughs> <laughs> You're not even trying. What I really need is some tweezers. For what? My eyebrows. I look like I'm about to like bust through a door with an ax. <laughs> it's like full on Jack Nicholson. <laughs> We could do that later. Look like I'm chasing around Shelly Long in a haunted hotel. <laughs> Who? Have you ever seen The Shining? He has bad eyebrows? Jack Nicholson has crazy eyebrows. Because <laughs> hers is the same length as yours. No, it's it's hard because it's hard looking at like a skinny girl hairstyle when you're a fat girl. Because like- Because they have shoulder bones. And... Yeah. Next. Like my shoulders. <laughs> Cause like they have necks, you know? <laughs> Ow! What's what that is that brush? Does it have little knives on it? <laughs> it's pretty rough. You need to do a bit my brush? Yes, that hurts. This is where we are. It's been 20 minutes. I'm beginning to think that she does not know what she's doing. You make me nervous. Why? Because you're critiquing my work. I'm scared. You're gonna have scissors close to my face and you've just been hitting me with the brush for the past half hour. <laughs> oh my God, don't stab me in the neck. Can you see where we're at? Can you put your head up? I already like it. Is that already good? It's already Dua Lipa-ish. Dude, it's kind of fresh. It's kind of funky. It's kind of fresh. Okay. All right, straighten it out, girl. We believe in you now. We had some doubts. Did you cut my shirt? You're not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have worn a shirt you like. See, I just like to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the hair looks like. It needs to be styled. It's flipping up. I hate when hair does that. But I think my sister did a pretty good job. Not too shabby. Let's go home. <laughs> Surprise. Look 
Okay, friends. You're gonna have to get out of there. I'm gonna feed Doug and then take a quick shower because I feel itchy as hell and then we'll get into some kind of dinner situation. <sighs> I feel so much better now, not itchy. So I bought stuff a couple of days ago to make minestrone soup and I think that it'd be good to make it now like in a big batch and save some because I have my second COVID shot coming up and my first one didn't go too hot. <laughs> um, so if I'm in a position again where I have like extreme fatigue, I'll just eat a but ton of minestrone soup and it might be a little bit better than eating cereal. You know, or I could stock my house with food, but what do we think is gonna happen, squad? Probably not the latter. I did come up with something smart though, because you know how my fridge is in my garage right now? I'm gonna take this basket every time I need a plethora of ingredients. Why didn't I think of that like six days ago? So smart. I absolutely love this soup. It's a copycat of the minestrone from Olive Garden and it's so easy. You literally just dump everything together. Very little finesse is involved and it's absolutely packed with veggies. I'll leave the recipe in the description if you're interested on in trying it out. And on the side we're having a huge salad with that delicious shaved parmesan from this morning. I'm watching Bob's Burgers and can I just tell you that this episode in particular really made my life difficult because there's a cow named Melissa in this episode and I used to work with a lady named Melissa and had to struggle so hard not to call her Melissa because she would definitely not know the reference or think that it was funny and would probably think that I was calling her fat or something even though she was a very petite lady. But yeah, you gotta love Bob's Burgers regardless. Such a wholesome show. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to spend the last few minutes of this video telling you how much I appreciate the support that I received on my last video. I was totally not expecting that at all. <laughs> In fact, I thought by clicking upload on that video that I was going to, you know, be writing the death sentence for this channel. The amount of comments, advice, and positivity that I received was really overwhelming. And I just wanted to let you know how much it meant to me. Your guys' stories and the people who have like overcome binge eating, uh, overcome like drug addiction and like all these other things, all these other stories that I got. Um, I don't know. It just really gives me hope because right now I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling kind of hopeless. <laughs> Granted my, um, Shark Week just started, so, you know, right on cue. But it's definitely really nice to be able to go back and look at the comments on that video and, you know, see a new one or read a new one each time and feel inspired again, I guess? Or get, like, a new idea. I'm, like, very confused about everything. You know, I thought I had a grasp on, like, what um, harm reduction was gonna look like, what, like, if I binge, I only eat the 75% and then I move on to something comforting I don't know but then I'm realizing like what is 75% <laughs> I don't know um and then so like just major like I'm just in a major like mind fuck and right now I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but I'm hoping eventually there will be an aha moment or like eventually I'll just kind of like slide into doing better just now that I'm more mindful of things I guess but I don't know I guess I just kind of wanted to fill you in on where we are with that because I I've kind of just been doing stuff all day and distracting myself so I didn't really talk about it much but um yeah <laughs> where we are is we're confused <laughs> so I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your support and continuing to support me I don't know if I deserve that but um you know thank you anyway <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one bye